One of the most important vitamins in your body, which is actually a hormone, is vitamin D. Most people have a deficiency in vitamin D. Vitamin D is responsible for, of course, building healthy bones, but also protecting your immune system. When I interviewed Mayo Clinic scientist, Dr. Anthony J on the Keto Camp podcast, he shared from his research, if your vitamin D levels were above 50 nanograms per milliliter, it would be almost impossible to die from COVID. Here's the problem. The standard reference range you're getting back from your lab, from your doctor, is flawed. It'll show 30 to 100 as the reference range, meaning if you hit 32, 41, 37 on your vitamin D levels, your doctor is probably going to pat you on the back and say, good job. You are optimal with your vitamin D, but in my books and in a many functional doctors, that is a deficiency. The optimal range for vitamin D is actually 60 to 100 nanograms per milliliters. Of course, the body produces vitamin D from getting sunshine. You could also eat vitamin D rich foods like salmon and eggs and mushrooms. But the most important thing to understand when it comes to vitamin D is that there is a hormone. If this hormone is high, it blocks the very first enzyme needed to convert vitamin D to a usable form in your body. And that hormone is insulin. That means you could be taking all the vitamin D supplements in the world. You could be eating foods that are rich in vitamin D. But if you have high insulin levels, you're not going to get adequate vitamin D in the bloodstream. It'll be almost impossible. High insulin blocks the conversion of vitamin D. What do you do? Eat an insulin friendly diet aka a ketogenic lifestyle or a low carb paleo lifestyle, lower your carbohydrate intake, increase your healthy fat and protein, that'll naturally lower insulin along with intermittent fasting and quality sleep. Now when you do that and lower insulin and take those vitamin D supplements that are a quality brand and eat those vitamin D rich foods and get your sunshine, that is the way to get your vitamin D to optimal levels. So it's important to test your insulin levels. Go get a fasting insulin done from your doctor. You want to see that less than five, even better around two or three. If you're not testing your insulin, get it done because you could take all the vitamin D in the world, but you'll not get the effect that you want unless you lower your insulin levels. Another great tool for you to check your glucose, which has a relationship with insulin, is to get a CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor, which will give you 24 seven data looking at your glucose, which you could correlate to how much insulin is being produced. I personally use a CGM from NutriSense and you could get their CGM if you go to nutrisense.io slash ketocamp and use the coupon code BEN30 at checkout for $30 off your NutriSense CGM sensor. It's one of the best tools you can get to really see what's happening with your glucose and insulin levels.